Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. The former governor of Nairobi County that was impeached, that is Mike Mbuvi Sonko, has now come out on a strategy to collect signatures to lead an impeachment motion of the current governor of Nairobi County, that is Johnson Sakaja. I have a video here of Mike Muvisonko alleging, uh, alleging such utterances. And I want you to watch. After watching, I want us to have critical analysis towards the video of Mike Muvisonko alleging that he is ready and now planning to collect signatures to send Johnson Sakaja home. Watch that video, then you continue. I want to tell uh, Nairobians that uh, I was I was I was I was uh, governor of Nairobi, and uh, I understand the frustrations Nairobians are undergoing. And I want to tell my brother, whom you are ready to support, Governor Sakaja, he should respect business people in Nairobi. We are not happy the way he's treating people in Nairobi. We are not happy the way people are complaining in Nairobi. We are not happy about the rampant corruption that is ongoing in Nairobi. He was elected to serve Nairobians, to work for Nairobians. He was not elected to punish Nairobians. We are not happy as leaders of Nairobi. And we want to tell him, the constitution is very clear. We can even use the people to mobilize signatures to send you home. So, this is about Nairobians. You either respect Nairobians, work for them, that the people who have elected you don't punish business people, yeah? do not be selective, yeah? we don't want uh, leadership to be applied selectively in Nairobi. Ati unasaidia chama flani ambaye hata haiku kweka kwa kiti. Yeah? So, you are our brother, we are ready to support you in a very big way, but please behave like a governor. Wacha ile mambo, unajua ni uhuru tu alileta ujuaji mingi ya pesa nane, but ingekua kwa debe wewe usiki kwa governor Nairobi. And we are watching you as Nairobians. I'm a, I'm a resident of Nairobi, yeah? I'm a voter of Nairobi, but please, respect the great people of Nairobi. Na kukuolewa si lazima wananchi wa kungoe, I mean sega, MCS wa na senators wa kungoe. We can use the power of the people to remove you from that seat. Tumba kujamazia sana, because we respect you, we respect the president, we respect the UDA party la mekwaka wakiti. But ukianza kinyoriro ya kutharawi UDA na president na deputy president, I'm sure we are going to cause havoc wa kwako. Huta run you na robi vizuri wewe. Yeah? You are our friend, we like you, we respect you. Please. Despite the great people of Nairobi, what we are transport, what we are share, sit with them, yeah. MCS we believe to ban. Yeah, but owners na clubs, yeah. We na sema it is still there. Where we watch MCS obana, we pick you up na wana inchi kuhalie yokiti. Watch a kudara wana inchi. Club owners, bar owners, let them work vizuri. Let them wakai chini na what we are mashule, what we are my residents. We agree. Volume na gani tukona kwa clubs, clubs ya nile kufanya biashara. People have invested in their biasharas. You cannot wake up just one day to say, ba, unafunga clubs. Whom do you think you are? Behave, my friend. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I think you have watched that video. And that video is giving us a very clear indication that the impeachment of the governor, current governor of Nairobi County, is going to be sponsored by certain so-called close allies of this Kenya Kwanza government. I know you do understand what is happening. There was accusation by the Rigadi Gachagwa and the member of parliament of Gidunguri constituency that is Kiambu County, that is Wakugadoni Wamuchomba, the issue of Matatus being uh, removed from the CBD to the Green Park. Then this, this issue has not been solved yet because there are certain groups that are gunning against Johnson Sakaja, claiming that Sakaja is just doing his decision, is now just deciding in his own and uh, based on his mind. 
That is number one. Number two, there is a certain issue that is coming up with MCAs. These MCAs allied to UDA party, they've come out to claim that Johnson Sakaja appointed or his appointment was not in accordance to the agreement and structure of UDA party. Because while Sakaja was selling his agenda, the UDA brigades assisted him to sell his agendas, and that is why he won election. So according to the appointment, these MCAs allied to UDA, they were expecting that the appointment was going to be based on UDA, UDA, but not the way Sakaja has done it, now basing and giving certain appointment to Azimio. According to what we do understand is that Azimio is the majority leader, majority party in uh, Nairobi County Assembly, followed by Kenya Kwanza, of course UDL. That is number two. Number three, the issue of Michael Movisonko. You have watched that, that video. Michael Movisonko is coming up with allegations. Jan Johnson Sokaja is unable to control and give Nairobians development. Then the issue is that Nairobi is continuing to be wasa, wasa, wasa every day. But literally, literally, I want to ask you a simple question. The issue of Kawira Mongaza started like this, where there is a claim that this former governor, former governor Kiraitu Murungi, and the former senator of Meru, that is the current cabinet minister of agriculture, are ganging against Mongaza. Now, when it comes to Mongaza also, the same same in MCS came against her. And there were certain allegations. The same same thing that is now starting to happen with um, Johnson Sakaja. Certain MCS are planning to, uh, to take impeachment motion to the parliament. The former governor of Nairobi County that was impeached, that is Johnson, uh, that, that is um, Mike Mufisonko, has also come out in that the video that you have watched in this uh, analysis, claiming that he is now going to start to collect the signatures of the impeachment of uh, Johnson Sakari. So this is something that, ladies and gentlemen, is bringing a lot of panic to Johnson Sakari. But I think, ladies and gentlemen, this group that are behind this impeachment they are well known now they are well known and upon our realization we understand whatever is happening some people are feeling like johnson sakaja is sidelining them betraying them and not doing whatever as per their structure needs number two is that there are certain groups that are feeling like johnson sakaja is destroying their businesses that is when it comes to the matatu sector, when it comes to these um, restaurants and bars, they're feeling like their business are being destroyed. Number three uh, is the issue of the businesses of MCS. They're feeling like Johnson Sakaja's appointment is not in accordance to their structure, that Johnson Sakaja was elected in a UDA ticket. So he must respect the structure of the political party of UDA, that he must not rely on the Azimio party, or else he declares that he's in the Azimio party. Ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? Do you support whatever Sonko is doing? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of great support, ladies and gentlemen. If you are a visitor for the first time, please consider subscribing, liking and commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.